to the Oilers. They kept the Oil vs. Water trophy on Main Street with a 45-13 win over Marina on Thursday. But they still have a lot to clean up heading in to Sunset League play. 230 yards of penalties against the Marina Vikings in their Thursday night win. Well, despite the penalties, Marina was just overmatched. Huntington Beach defense was all over the run game, all over the quarterback. They lived in the backfield of Marina. Marina couldn't get anything going, couldn't get comfortable. And some usual suspects for Huntington Beach came up big as well. Joe Carroll, he's come on very strong as of late on the defensive side. Jeremy Carpenter um, and EJ Redrick, who's always has a big night. Um, and in, in addition to those three guys, Nate Tawanu'u, is quickly becoming a star here in the Sunset League. It, it seems like every time Huntington Beach plays, he's got a, a handful of tackles. He's come up with multiple takeaways at this point. He had a, a fumble recovery for a touchdown against Marina. He's a guy that's always around the football. He swarms to the ball, and he's somebody that offenses have to account for when they're drawing up their game plan. Nate Tawanu is the real deal on defense. Two defensive touchdowns, and we're only halfway through the season. Uh, our reporter, Eric Ramos, caught up with Nate Tawanu after the game and had him walk us through that scoop and score TD. Can you take me through that play where you returned the ball for a touchdown? Oh, okay. So what happened was I was supposed to blitz, and the running back came up, fumbled on the ball. I grabbed it. I thought the play was dead. But then my, my friend AJ pushed me my back, and I kept running, and I got that touchdown. And Howard, I know you mentioned EJ Rederick on defense. He plays both ways. He plays running back. And I think a bright spot that maybe Coach Brown and everyone didn't really expect to be so strong this season is the Oilers' run game. Coach Brown had really high praise for EJ Rederick when we talked to him this week at both the running back and linebacker position. EJ is just a, a football player, man. He, he he doesn't want to come off the field ever. You know, we're trying to get him breaks, and you know, he he gets mad when I when I pull him out and put another running back in especially after like a, a big defensive drive, try to get him some water. And he's like, no, I'm good, coach. I'm good. I'm like, okay. Well, when you've got a weapon like that at running back, it makes everything else that you do on offense a little bit easier. And we know that this offense is really fueled by A.J. Perez, senior quarterback. He's got a big arm. He knows the offense. He's comfortable in it. It's his second year with getting substantial playing time. And he's just looking more comfortable every week. And it seems like every time Huntington Beach gets a win and we look at the stat line, it's not 100 yards and one touchdown for A.J. Perez. It's 250 yards, 300 yards, four or five touchdowns. He's usually running a touchdown in with his legs. So he's a guy that's a, a major weapon. He, he gets everything started for Huntington Beach. And he's a guy Coach, Re Coach Brown relies on heavily, and he's delivered in the first five games. So I'm really excited to see how he progresses through the Sunset League competition because I think he can really elevate Huntington Beach to surprise some people. The Oilers are 3-2, and two, and keep in mind those two losses, one possession losses, they could easily be 5-0. and oh. And a big question, Howard, I know that you and I had going into the season was we knew, we knew theoretically who the top dogs were in the Sunset League, Los Al Edison and CDM. Who's going to challenge, who's going to not necessarily be in that fourth spot, but who is in that fourth spot that could bump up and challenge for one of those top three? Right now, it's looking like it's the Oilers. 